Howdy guys, welcome to another Keeper Reef vlog with the 400Z, the brand spanking Proto Z. Now if you watched our last videos, we've slammed it on a shockwork suspension, we've got some spicy wheels and we've got a sharp exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> Straight pipe, world's first smite, world's first. And here we are today to spice this thing up to how the Z, I reckon, should be, or should have been at the factory. Go down to checker tuning. We're gonna wake this thing up. The VR30 DTT, three liter V6 twin turbo thing. Yeah, we'll snap in some necks on the way here with that, that shard exhaust. It's a bit of a trombone at the moment. We'll fix that up. But we're here to see what it does before and after. We're gonna see if we can shoot some flames and how many powers we can make out of this thing. Trent has done one 400Z, so we know what we're in for to some degree, but that was a dead standard one. So we've got the exhaust, which we know is a huge restriction. Standard, they got the two inch pea shooter with like five cats in there. Don't know what's going on. Now I've gone completely straight, so that will definitely help the power gain. Now, I think you'll be interested, we'll go in a sec, we'll have a talk to Trent, and we'll show you the graph of before and after just a stock car. And then we'll chuck this thing on, we'll run her up, enjoy it. Here's Trent. Alright. <laughs> First source of exhaust, go. Loud. Actually, when I reversed it, I'm like, ah, oh, it's pretty quiet, it's pretty quiet, and then I revved it, and then I'm like, ow, oh, ears hurt. Oh. So you just tuned one of these, but dead stock? 100% stock, yeah, literally rolled it in, bolted it on, and ran it up, so. So we've got a bit of a before and after, much to my surprise, well actually not to my surprise, it's exactly how it, it felt. On the um, on the graph here, which is really doughy, really laggy, it sort of comes on, comes off, and then ramps back up in the high RPM, which just felt wrong. You you get a, a initial rush, and then it kind of rolls back on you, and then you get like a second rush, and then it rolls off again. It's it's actually a, a kind of a weird feeling. It's a little bit like the eight sixes and all that sort of stuff, and it's it's definitely supposed to be in there so when we look in the tune and all that sort of stuff it is definitely in there so whether or not they're trying to keep it uh, emissions down here or whether or not they're trying to uh, stop the golfers from climbing lampposts or something after leaving golf on a Sunday in the wet or whatever we're not exactly Mustang sure meat. yeah 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 <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how this one comes up with the exhaust the other one that we did it was yeah chalk and cheese just just from tuning it even completely standard so so to like reverse that Mountain of deadness into a mountain of goodness. It's literally <laughs> 160 extra newton meters or something in in that that central part there. So peak power is not hugely different. It's right up here. So at it, 6,000, it made 264 kilowatts completely stock. We did like six or seven runs in fourth and fifth, and it was within like two, three, fours each time. Final run was. Um, this particular one is not there, but we made it as much as about 295, but that other one, again, because of the heat exchanger and the stock exhaust, we actually just wound it down a little bit. We ended up with about 282 kilowatts, so about a 25, 26 kilowatt gain up top, but in certain spots, like three and three and a half, it picks up nearly 80 kilowatts of the wheels, yeah, so, so just it feels completely different. Yeah. yeah, Makes the car how it should be, I reckon. I'll do some runs completely untouched, and it'll actually give you an idea of what it makes untouched with an exhaust, and that'll tell you, I suppose, really what, what extra flow it has. There's a couple other things I want to look at, which was the auto blip is gross in it. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, sports yeah. mode, it like picks it up way too much. Like a little blip is fine, or even just no blip is nicer. Then we've got, Rev limiter. I don't know if you can like play with limiter or up limiter. I don't know how much we, you can, we can do with well, it. Yeah, well, what, yeah, so you want different noise or different, or does it feel like it hits a limit too quickly? Or? It felt like it did hit at like six something thousand. What, what was it doing on there? Yeah, six, with six, six, two, six, four. Yeah, so pretty yeah. low. So I don't know if we can increase that and if the exhaust is going to help those things. Obviously, we'll look at boosts. Uh, and flames. Ooh, that's the flames. 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 Yes. <laughs> that's, that's what we're here for, the main reason. Launch control question? Uh, yeah, so launch control, I can do a lot with launch control. It depends on what you can. We can command pretty much whatever boost you want for launch control as well. So I don't know if you want to be the first person to break a dry shaft or a diff or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty beefy under there. Yeah, no, look, I, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah.
It literally like vibrated the earmuffs. Oh, it was it, so gross. It's actually vibrated my eardrums. Like gets through the earmuff. But some good gains. Yeah, good gains. But uh, what's that? That's at that point there. It's a hundred newton meter gain right there. Thirty kilowatt. Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah, and that's just exhaust. That's he hasn't done anything. He's flashing it right now. Whatever that means. Yeah, so if you're looking at getting it tuned, uh, ECU Tech offers. Um, a pretty easy solution. You don't have to buy anything. We can literally do the whole lot here. It works on credits. Um, what? <laughs> Cats yelling. Yeah, so what's the total? <laughs> 17 95 that's cheap. Seventeen ninety-five. Because of that, you we even don't know ourselves. So didn't you say something like they just brought out like the proper software like last night or something? Live tuning went live last night, which means this car will be the first car to be done with live tuning as well. So world's first. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> None of the Australian models were in the system on Monday. So yeah, yeah, yesterday morning was the first time they were actually in the system. So um, everyone's scrambling to get them all done. So just uploaded the last things to Did our final runs. We made the 304 kilowatts. Yeah, so 304. Talk, uh, I mean, look, there's, there was a bit of a spike there, but if even if we round it down, 639 from 569 is, is still really, really good gains by putting an exhaust on it. The top end gains obviously aren't as much because the heat exchanger, it gets hot. Putting a heat exchanger on it will extend it along a little bit more for something that you literally put an exhaust on and pick up. Um, that amount of power, it's pretty awesome. Even just bolting an exhaust on it alone was actually quite surprising. Yeah, it's almost as good as the, the tune no Up exhaust. the top, yeah, yeah, yeah. So just for your comparison then, this is the no exhaust? Ah, no tune but with exhaust. Yeah, so no tune with our exhaust. So there's the hectic dip. This one is the um, tuned no exhaust and then this is our final so that's that's your gains just with the exhaust which is pretty crazy and the same here gains all across um and then that's just before we tuned ours with the exhaust yeah not bad yeah getting a tune is definitely definitely worthwhile in this this area here those mid-range gains is exactly what i was feeling that just let down the cart when you were driving it Trent was saying this is ideal for a drift car mad response look it comes on hard 2000 and a bit of a drop off, but that's all right. I've only just figured out what a heat exchanger is. Is that what they use on like 
um, superchargers a lot of the time. That's how you yeah, yeah, so like a lot of the Harrop stuff and that. So up here, instead of having a front mount intercooler, you've got a cooler here, two intercoolers on either side, and they're encased with a housing which has water flowing through it. It has a water pump, and then there's another radiator in front. And unfortunately, the radiator, due to packaging, is fairly small. So there's only so much heat that we can pull out of those heat exchangers before they get to a point where they just want to sit at like 50 degrees all the time. And if you keep pumping the boost up, then they, they get thermal carry away. And uh, we don't want that. Air intake, which I'm not sure how restricting uh, that would be, like the yeah. air boxes and stuff like that. Yeah, the pistons are not too bad, but yeah, definitely, it's definitely worth it. And it'll make them sound a little bit better. The other thing that we can do with these is flex tuning as well. So the last couple we've done, even with this now, you can even put flex fuel in it and cheat. Because the heat exchanger does get a bit heat soaked, E85 doesn't care as much. So you can put E85 in it and then make mid-300s just with the flex fuel kit. And do you need anything else for the, so it's like a, what do you need to do for the E85? Uh, in tank, low pressure pump and um, flex fuel sensor, that's it. Yeah. So yeah. We've got crackle tune, you have to, you have to show us how to oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have instant headache tune and uh, bubby tune as well. So there's, they're all in there. Yeah. It's all the ill features. It's got launch control as well. We're just, we're just screwing around with that at the moment, trying to figure that out. But, uh, and then limiter wise and... Um, so uh, limiter was at 4,000 in neutral. It's now at seven. Top end limiter's at seven. Yeah, and I've closed the limiter up. So instead of the limiter being like a 300 RPM hysteresis, it's now 100. So it should sound a little bit quicker as well. Yeah, no. What was the stock rev limiter? 60, 67 to 69. It was like a sliding scale. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, and that's probably what you felt too, like that hit it and then. But this had a speed limiter too. So normally Aussie cars get don't get delivered with a 180 kilometer speed limit. This had one. All right, so we're at a new day now. Adam had to run away. He left me <laughs> to go shoot some super shots. Now with it slammed on its ass, looking spicy. So I got to drive home, and you don't get to see my first reaction, so I've sucked in. And now it's raining. So I guess you're just gonna have to wait for the Super 400Z showdown to see how truly quick it is. My first reaction was, it feels much better. It definitely comes on strong like it should. It doesn't feel doughy, laggy. It's how it should be, but I didn't give it heaps too many times because I couldn't handle that exhaust and that shark noise and me needing to crap myself every five minutes. I got Corey, he's gonna, <laughs> before we take it down, we're gonna get some uh, hot dogs in there and uh, try quieting it up. Some, I got some specs here. Before I forget, and I've got to show you how we can put the Kang Flamey Boy mode on. Because I was scaring the shadow out of people, they didn't know what was going on. They're like, that's a brand new Z. <laughs> oh, <it's going. laughs> that's exactly how it went down. <laughs> I got my before and afters. So we had 14 PSI stock, made 265 rule kilowatt and 408 newton meters. 14 PSI with the exhaust. Untuned this is, it made 280 kilowatt, 510 newton meters. Then 17 PSI stock, made 290 kilowatt, 570 newton meters. So funnily enough, it's really close to the, just doing exhaust uh, on this, but obviously tuned, you get rid of that chat big dip thing going on. And then 17 PSI tuned, the final figure, 304 real wheel kilowatt, and 675 newton meters. So over dead stock, that's 40 kilowatt and almost 200 newton meters more powers that we've made out of this with really doing not much like exhaust that's it um, so of course that combined with getting that laggy spot back and having suspension this is truly how the z should have been minus the sharp noises we're getting there we're getting there we've got some more spicy things going on before we close this out, I'll show you how to put on the crackly mode and I uh, might um, blow Corey's eardrums. Let's see how we get. Oh! We've got a few things. Also, launch control. Uh, he did get it working in the end, so I'll explain all that right now. So, first thing, clutch in, turn her on. Mm. So, to put it in the modes, or you literally all you do is hold cancel. Hopefully, it works with the door open, should be right. Hold the cancel down. See how the taco wigs out. Oh, lost it. Hold it again. So three is the flame mode. One is normal mode. Oh, will it do it? Oh, I wigged out. Too slow. You gotta be fast about it. There you go. 
So two is crackle mode, one normal. Oh, too slow again. <laughs> and three is flamey boy. So that's literally all you have to do to get flames and backfires. It's quite intense, but we'll do it in a second. All right, so launch control. So sport mode on, hold sport mode, clutch in, in gear, and then it has to be over 50% throttle or it will just rev out. And then adjust it with the cruise control. What RPM you want to hold it at. All right, let's see if it works. There you go, so as you can see, it held it at the RPM, and you can change it up and down to what sort of suits your launch. Do you want to hear some flames? Move it forward so you're away from the VL. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I don't want to blow up their eardrums while they're trying to work away. Corey getting upset. So I'll just pull it out there and we'll, we'll get some flames going on. <laughs> Boom. Feel it in the chest. As you can see, it's pretty intense and not what you'd expect from a brand new Z. So we're definitely quieted up, but those flames, oof, can't wait to the um, night shoot, uh, the giveaway shoot of this. So next up, we're gonna, what are we gonna do? Are we drag racing it next? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We've already, we've already slammed in the wheels there. Yeah, we've already done that. Yeah. Put your guesses in. This made 304, the Super made 295 or something like that, apparently. And the Super is a, uh, 10 speed? 8 speed. Is it? It's an 8 speed. Pretty sure. I think you might be wrong. 8 speed order. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the 6 speed manual in this. 10 speed order of that. Eight. Haven't figured out launch control. Oh, sorry, 8 speed order. <laughs> 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 Haven't figured out launch control in the Super yet. We've got some 76 going to go on it. Make sure you jump on that next video when it comes out. Make sure you like, subscribe. So you see it when it pops up. Click that little bell. Don't forget, if you jump on your membership, you will automatically go on the draw for this and every one of our spicy cars start accumulating entries and support what we're all about human drifting on the track off the street and our goal having a spicy racetrack of our own so make sure you support grab merch too jump on the website and i'll see you next time if you really want it go and get it this ain't the secret boy i said it this ain't the place for those nice settings but is the fame much better they watch every move yeah. We must improve mm. Leaving them confused Like we front page of the news Got me feeling like I'm loose I wanna be free